Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And we got some big news this morning, and this happened very quickly. Verizon officially announces the sale of its media assets, AOL, Yahoo, Engadget, and TechCrunch, I believe, is, is included in that as well. Now... Just wanted to give you guys my take on this. I know I talked about it previously in the video, but this happened very quickly. So this wasn't just talked about a few days ago and then it sold. They likely discussed this behind the scenes for a while now with, with, the, with the people that were involved in, in the bidding. They've likely brought this up a while back. Because this literally sold after the announcement went public that there might be a sale. It literally sold three to four days after. So Verizon bought these assets. They they didn't buy them under the current CEO Hans Vesberg. So he's kind of wiping his hands clean with these assets. But they bought them under the previous CEO McAdam I believe was his name or McDowell and the assets they were just poorly executed it wasn't properly utilized I've had many people tell me this over the last few days up on me asking hey what do you what do you think of of the of the media assets are they are they worth anything do they present any value because they're 90s companies and a lot of people have been telling me they've just been poorly executed executed so that's why there was still a five billion dollar value on the company which is what it sold for and then verizon is still will still have about a 10 percent stake in in the company so there's a reason that a company is going to pay money for something because they're going to utilize it they're going to execute and that's something that verizon failed to do a lot of people probably still didn't know that Verizon owned Yahoo or AOL. So just, again, just poorly executed. Now, what does this solidify? What does this signal to the market? So we've been, I've, I've, I've read a lot of you guys' comments in the comment section down below. We've been trying to figure out who's pursuing what strategy. So we know at and strategy is clearly content delivery. Their capacity shows it on the network, the backhaul, content delivery hbo max and then i know they they they're spinning off their their tv portion which is actually already sold and happening but they still have a, a stake in the, in that company and they they're still going to sell tv they they will just no longer report it on the books so their strategy is clearly content delivery t-mobile strategy is clearly pure wireless now they had media assets with t-vision Layer 3 TV, but they shut that down. So you can be expecting a sell on that too. And then they're they're pretty much signaling again that they're going pure wireless and that they're going with strategic partnerships to, to utilize their network, their capacitive network, such as YouTube TV and then whatever else may come in the future. Netflix is one of them as well. And then here, you know, here's Verizon. We were a little unsure. We didn't know, are they going to go pure wireless? Are they going to get deeper into media? Well, now they're selling their media assets. And some people have told me, well, Verizon is trying to lean out the company. There's not a lot of leaning out for Verizon to do. They don't have a lot of assets. Like AT&T, they're still going through the non-core assets of uh, Time Warner and all the other purchases that they made. And they're still evaluating the sale of those purchases. In fact, they have such large assets that they had to put a 90-day freeze that came from Stanky to reevaluate those non-core assets and see what could potentially uh, push profit and what they just need to get rid of. That's how long of a freeze they needed to put to reevaluate the non-core assets. Verizon doesn't have that many. They try to... Under the other CEO, the previous CEO, they tried to obtain a media wireless-like strategy as AT&T. 
they got Go90, they started purchasing all these companies to try to get deeper into media, Hans Vesperg is steering them in another direction. He's telling them, we're going to go pure wireless, which is our strength. We're good at it. And we're going to make that more premium. And then we're going to offer a fixed wireless product that's going to be really good. And that's how we will go with the, with the, into the market. That's our strategy. And then we will also obtain third-party partnerships. So Verizon and T-Mobile's strategy is very similar. So I think this sell is, is a good sell. It really signals to the market what the real strategy is. And of course, that money that they're now getting, they got about $4.25 billion in cash. They could use that for more millimeter wave base stations. They could use it to pay down debt. They could do whatever they want with that money because they now got it. But I think the sell signals that they want to become more flexible on, on wireless itself. They are leaning out the company with this, of course, but it's just they don't have a lot of assets to get much leaner. And, and you know, at some point, they're going to have to start cutting employees if they want to get even leaner. They just reported $10 billion in cost savings this past quarter. So, you, I mean, can't get any better than that. So I think this signals just one, they're flexible and even more flexible now if they need to compete with lowering margins i think they can do that now because they no longer have to worry about these media assets that made them leaner to cut margins a little bit and overall it just shows you that verizon may not be as stubborn as some think and corrections are on the way we've seen some corrections like i mentioned in previous videos they're no longer only allowing the premium plans to get the promotions it's all plans now and I think we have more corrections coming. I think the ultra wide band for the premium plans only is going to change to all plans. I think soon the mid level and lower level plans will have access to ultra wide band millimeter wave and C band at some point. It's just not going to work. The the other players such in AT and T and T Mobile are going to exploit Verizon if they do this. It's going to be a huge marketing push. Hey, you can get all of our spectrum on all of our plans and the same with T-Mobile. It's just too easy for them to, to, to attack that. So that'll be a correction coming from Verizon soon as well. And then we may get a plan revamp sometime in the near future as well, depending on how much pressure Verizon feels in, in, in the market. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Just wanted to let you guys know that this is happening and what I, what I anticipate and, you know, just my take on it. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. If you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel and you have not yet liked, shared, subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.